News just coming in. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Raman Singh has confirmed that more than 300 people are being held hostage by Naxals. The Home Minister of Chhattisgarh had earlier issued a statement saying 300 BJP workers had been abducted ahead of Prime Minister Modi's rally in Dantewada. The state police had dismissed the claim saying only six labourers had been kidnapped on Friday. The police had also said that the kidnapping had nothing to do with the Prime Minister's rally. But now a confirmation coming in from the Chief Minister of the state. लोकल स्तर में भी प्रयास हो रहा है और इस प्रकार समूह के रूप में सुकमा जिले में दो उनका एक ऐसी घटना भी करते हैं पुलिस प्रशासन भी उसमें सक्रियता से भागीदारी करेगा एसपी और वहां के अधिकारियों को भी लगाएंगे और गांव वालों की टीम खुद सक्रिय है वो खुद प्रयास में लग गए हैं कि सीधे उनसे बात कर लें सर वैसे कितने लोग हैं जिनको अगवा किया गया क्या तीन सौ पचास पाँच गए हैं और बाकी गांव वाले को छोड़ा गया सर रायपुर का कार्यक्रम स्थगित हुआ है एक एक मिनट संख्या भी यानी लोग जो जानकारी दे रहे हैं उसमें पाँच लोग छुड़ाने गए हैं दो ढाई लोग होंगे गाँव के हाँ वो गाँव वाले गाँव All right, so that statement coming in from Chief Minister Raman Singh saying that more than 300 people have in fact been abducted. Let's get a word from Kamaljit Sandhu who is with us live from the national capital. We are also trying to connect uh, with Jugal Purohit, our correspondent who is in Sukma. I want to come to you first, uh, Kamal. We are being told that uh, now the Chief Minister has also admitted before the media that 300 people have in fact been abducted uh, from the Naxal belt. And we are being told that the, these abductions happened ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit. Well, this is obviously going to leave a lot of people red-faced. Remember, the government is saying something else. The police, their own state police is saying something else. It's a classic case of left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing and the right hand is making a statement which the left hand doesn't know about. Uh, but yes, we've spoken to senior Home Ministry officials. They're going by the statement of the uh, state police. Uh, they're saying it's not the abduction, but as a matter of fact, uh, just an obstruction. Uh, these people wanted to be part of the, chief, uh, of the Prime Minister's rally. They've not been able to do so. Uh, so perhaps Perhaps uh, the right word for it is not abduction but just obstruction for where people really wanted to go and could not go. Uh, they are also naming an incident of Tongpal area in uh, Marenga. They are obviously saying uh, that at least five to six people were abducted uh, after they were started after they ma started making a bridge there uh, which did upset the Naxals there. Uh, thereafter it was the villagers who on their own initiative wanted to release these particular five to six people. So they went and ahead and were talking to the Naxals to release these five to six villagers. Now, what the state police is saying is that perhaps something as big as 300 people being abducted is simply not possible. Uh, this is what is being reiterated by the MHA also. Uh, they've also simply gone by what the state police has told them verbatim. Uh, but yes, on ground it seems very specific. The Prime Minister's high-profile rally has already undergone. Uh, we already know that the statement coming in from the Home Minister and now the Chief Minister confirming the same thing. This is obviously going to leave a lot of people red-faced. Uh, is their own state police not really confirming the same? Why the Chief Minister is going ahead and saying that uh, this is something which really needs to be clarified now. Absolutely. Kamal, stay on with us. Let's also get in a word from Jugal Purohit, who's with us live from Sukma. Jugal, explain to us what exactly is happening there. Chief Minister Raman Singh has now come on record and said that more, hundred, that more than 300 people have, in fact, been abducted. But the state police sticking to only six people being abducted, and they claim it has nothing to do with Modi's rally. Jugal, can you hear me? Simi, I'm not able to hear your question well. Could you please repeat it with an enhanced audio? Jugal, uh, basically I wanted to ask you, now we have a statement coming in from the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh saying that 300 people have been abdu abducted from the state. He's saying that these abductions took place ahead of Modi's rally in the state. But the police still sticking to their earlier statement of six laborers being abducted in the police claims that the abductions have nothing to do with Modi's rally. That's right. Uh, Simi, if I've understood your question well, what, what, has, what has taken place is that uh, yesterday evening, late night in fact, these workers who were working at a construction site in the Tongpal area, which is at the border of Sukma and Bastar, they were uh, the Maoists uh, you know, approached them, took them uh, along with them, threatened them and also some of the villagers for not attending. 
Now, if you're facing some uh, technical difficulty on that line uh, with Jugal Purohit, he's been traveling in Chhattisgarh. I believe he's now reached Jagdalpur. Jugal has been tracking developments on the ground for us. Remember Prime Minister Modi today addressed a rally in the Naxal affected zone. He, in fact, tried to reach out to locals saying that violence is not the future and the only way that. Uh, this region will be able to develop uh, is through peaceful transactions with the government. The pictures on your screens are of roads being blocked in Sukma. Now, there are conflicting reports coming in uh, about abductions that reportedly took place ahead of uh, Modi's rally. The chief minister has now come on record to say that uh, more than 300 people have, in fact, uh, been abducted. He also claims that they're being held hostage by Naxals. But no demands have been put forth as yet. We'll try and get you an update uh, with Jugal in just a bit. Now, before that uh, confirmation came in from Chief Minister Raman Singh, there was complete chaos on the ground after the state police dismissed the state home minister's claim that 300 BJP workers had been kidnapped.